Alright, hello people, I'm the Dude, and this is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and we were headed to Isaac's place, which should be over here, right? Or not Isaac's, we're headed to the cafe. Where the hell is the cafe at? Uh, Augur Resources? No, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Ground Zero. Uh, we're looking for a computer with Jeff K or something like that, and then the password is Kafka. That's too popular. That's not it. Let's see, what is this? Uh, Hollywood Celebrity Database. No, that's not it. Although, I think... Right, yeah, this is part of another quest. Uh, what is her name? What is her name? Uh... Swan. Swan, right? S-C. Yeah, Ginger Swan. Right. Uh, that's part of another quest in a minute. And yeah, Joseph K. Email. Password. Ding. We don't actually need to hack the password. We know what it is. There we go. And uh, no subject. Meet in the alley behind the fast buck. Virus alert. Mav has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. Blah 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 blah. So virus. Anyways. So we need to go to the fast buck. And the guy should have the movie we need for Isaac to make him happy. I'm all about making Isaac happy. So he can give me the information I need. And I have no idea where the fast buck is. Um, chili pepper. What does that say? Metal. Metalhead? Metalhead Industries. Okay. Ass pole. <laughs> Adult. That's the sin bin. Here we go. Fast buck. But, um, and we gotta go to the Fasuvi. What is that? Seguro Falls will make you well. Oh so well. <laughs> we gotta go to the Vesuvius eventually to see uh, Vivi. To see Velvet. Yeah? What do you want? I want the movie. Are you guy with the tape? Isaac sent me. Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. You need to make up your mind there. Uh, let's see. Come on, I know about the tape. Just give it to me and you can go. Tape? What tape? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm getting the hell out of here. Fine, I'll tell Isaac you wouldn't give me what he's... What, what is his? All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Having played the game before, I don't blame you. Uh, why? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. Really, it's that bad. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl. The things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. <laughs> something's after me. Uh, let's see. Uh, what? What are you talking about? Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shit. I'm out of man. I'm out of this whole thing. Okay, alright, alright, give me the tape. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Shit, did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. And he's toast. What the... Oh Christ! And then something sucks him into the uh, the sewers. So yeah, he didn't have happy fun times, but he gave us a name, Ginger Swans. And if you remember right, at the internet cafe, there was a celebrity database, and one of the people was a swan. So oh, we are gonna go back. Bum ba dum ba da bum ba dum boom. 
According to the few fractured accounts of their doings, Andalusians possess virtually godlike power. According to the kindred legend, there were 13 original Andalusians, though some have allegedly been destroyed. Blah 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 blah. Antediluvians are like the uh, fathers of vampires or whatever, in case you've forgotten. Let's see, S through Z. And Swan Ginger. There we go. Swan, a name synonymous with beauty and glamour to this day. It was a great celebrity of the late 40s and early 50s. Her credits included such movies as Gilded Hummingbirds and When No Means Yes. <laughs> After her passing in 1954, she was interred in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery Mausoleum. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery Mausoleum. Okay. So yeah, she's at the cemetery. I already knew that, but I figured I'd go through the process anyways and let you guys see. That's how you're supposed to find out. Uh, we could go back to Isaac right now, but he's just going to tell us to go find Ginger Swans, so it's kind of pointless. Oh, and he's disappointed that we don't have the tape, obviously. So I'm going to skip over that. We'll go to the Vesuvius, actually, and talk to Vivi while we're out and about. Uh, Vivi is one of the two, one of the two characters in the game that has just been lovingly crafted, her character model. <laughs> her and Jeanette slash Therese, which are basically the same character, they got way more attention than anyone else for what should be obvious reasons. But uh, Vivi's definitely my favorite of the bunch. Jeanette's crazy and she's fun, but Vivi's, Vivi's something else entirely. So, And this is her strip club. There are half-naked women dancing around doing what strippers do. As you can see. Uh, this one over here we can actually talk to if we want to lab dance. Basically what that is is you pay money and then you can drain her. You can get blood. Actually, we don't have much blood at the moment. Let's do that. Hey there, handsome. My name is Misty. Can I interest you in a private dance? I've got something special in mind just for you. Uh-huh. Special. <laughs> Sounds great. Great. Now all I need from you is $100. And then we can go back and get things started. Love the eyes. Uh, sure. Sounds good to me. Okay. Now follow me back to the private rooms and we can get a little more comfortable. I like comfortable. So yeah, we get to numb on her whenever she decides to get back there. <laughs> She's got like boob tassels. That's it. Just, just boob tassels. Nothing else. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Nice ass though. There we are. Now you like me to do I just love a man who tells me what he wants and how he wants it um I would like to drain your blood now please come here I have a secret to tell you there we go now the bars a little glitched out I don't know why it does that sometimes yeah see it's going down in chunks instead of steadily but whatever Oop, stop shit sorry misty <laughs> I didn't mean to do that <laughs> where's my humanity at it's not too bad. Sorry, Missy. My bad. <laughs> it was an accident. Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> Gonna have to take the poster down. Oh, look what just walked in. I can't imagine you get much of a rise out of the suitors, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. This is Miss Velvet. She is very smooth. Let's see. Who are you? I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs, where we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it. Believe me. Oh, I bet you will. Uh, how do I know this isn't some kind of trap? It's not a trap. Uh, if you got something to say, no, that's not nice. Lead the way. Yeah, we're going to be nice to Vivi. She is my favorite, after all. And of course she has boob physics. <laughs> In full swing, pun intended. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. She's got her own uh, stripper pole and hot tub. Misty Candy, Bambi. <laughs> Which one's over here? Cindy. Dun, dun. Isn't this better? You and me alone. Indeed. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers, just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, 
But there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Oh, of course there was. Let's see, uh, I, knew there, I knew there had to be a catch. Let me guess, you want me to do something? Just a wild guess, but you're a Toreador, aren't you? Yeah, she is, obviously. Oh, yes. What gave me away? I ha- what? I have a dialogue option. How do I have a dialogue option? I have no dialogue skills at all. Uh, the blue. The blue right there means I have a, uh, uh, social skill option. In this case, it's persuasion. Interesting. Your passion. I'm beginning to think bringing you up here was an even better idea than I thought. The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Hunters are the guys that I've been killing throughout the game that keep hunting me down throughout the streets. Uh, they're the ones with the torches or the crossbows. Uh, I appreciate the notice of the hunters in town. Thank you. Think nothing of it. I'm Velvet. Valoa. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? Indeed I would. Uh, you're already bo No, no, she's not boring me. Uh, what should I ask? Uh, so we can be just completely abrupt and say no. We can insult her, or we can say, what, would you, what should I ask? We're going to go with the second one, obviously. I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. Right, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, tell me about your hunter problems. Then we'll get fingers involved. Hunters. Uh. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood. Several weeks. They've been in Ashes Club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down a list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. Did you know they're gone now, right? For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. It's blatantly obvious you're a vampire. Why didn't she just kill you? Or try to kill you? I'm assuming you're not very good in combat. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could take care of her. Maybe difficult to accept, but you may have to kill her. Aw. That's too bad. Uh, <laughs> we can just shut her down and completely ignore her. Uh, we're gonna go with the first one. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. No! No, I, I kill people all the time. Uh, kill a hunter, you don't have to ask me twice. You'd really be willing to do this for me? Of course. I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. Of course. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. I love her voice actor. Uh, let's see, what do I do? She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde on the top. Broken <laughs> heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. What the hell? Her name? Er, oh, sorry. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. You're not asking much. Using disciplines around the hunter. Hmm. Okay, I'm not promising anything uh, before I go. I understand. I'll take care of your problem. So, yes, she wants us to go to the sin bin and murder Chastity. But sadly, she's a nice vampire, so she doesn't want us to murder anyone else. <laughs> just, to, just Chastity. And uh, there's several people in the way. So we have two options. We can either do what I've been doing, just go in guns blazing and kill everyone. Or we can try and please Velvet and uh, be silent about it. Which isn't going to be easy for us. We're not really equipped to do that. Bum, bum, ba -dum. So here's the sin bin. Ba -da -bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Uh, blah, 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 caitiff. This guy owns the shop. Uh, he's actually kind of entertaining, but we have to talk to him later, so I'm going to wait to talk to him. Oh, hi there. Dirty dog. That's obviously a password. 
If you see anything on a notepad in this game, it's a password. Peep show. And a locked manager's door. That we cannot unlock. Oh, we can. We need blood buff. There we go. And that uh, money machine right there, we're going to have to unlock too. So while I have blood buff, I might as well. There we go. A bit of cash. Good stuff. So now that the money is out of this, one of these guys right here in the peep show booths is going to run out of money and he's going to have to leave. If you don't do that, he'll stay there forever. So you got to break into this thing. I'm going to go on in here and before I mess with this, I'm going to do a quick save. Because this quest above most of the other ones in this game is very touchy. Uh, if it screws up, I need to wait to load back. We go to inventory first. Playful rabbit. Playful rabbit video erotica for couples. Hazy Lynn's simulated copulation seven. Lukewarm passion theater. The minister's wife. Petticoat dreams. The dowager's driver. Playful Rabbit Hottest Penisless Sex Scenes Revealed. What? Penisless? As in lesbian? <laughs> I hope. Uh, how to... Wait. How scandalously ribald... Oh, really? Collection of girls starring... Long... Star oh, staring longingly into each other's eyes. Set to saxophone. So, soft core is what they're trying to get at. <laughs> uh, let's see. Beastmaster... Beastmaster Productions, the finest in fresh-faced, feathered, and furry frolicking. <laughs> uh, National Anthropomorphic Explorer, in search of the wild Madagascar tree chode. <laughs> Lady Chatterley's Woofer, uh, Big Game Humper 4, Furbound. Global Goose Chase 19, the wet, hot waterfowl of the Nile. These titles are amazing. Ruby Roo in <laughs> rhymes with Rutz Pucked. Yeti Felcher. Oh my god. Let's see. J Prawn. Schoolgirl Everything. Platoon Tang. <laughs> Soiled Train Seats. Uh, Mangalicious Androgyny. Proof She's Not 18. Mecha Punani. <laughs> when Tentacle Met Orifice. And the 2004 Any Masters. Oh my god. Okay, so... Good stuff. Peep show. Uh, is it Dirty Dog? No. Wrong password. Okay. Can we hack it? Oh, Sinner. Right. Right, right. Okay. Uh, status. Window 1 malfunction. Override unavailable. Window 2. Window 3 operational. Parts on order for Window 1. So, we can't lock down window 1, but we can lock down the others, which, yeah, should get rid of one of the patrons. Like I said, the other one is going to leave whenever he runs out of money. He put his money in, and he wants his peep show. Not happy. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't go complain, but it uh, works out for us. Let's see, is there anything else on here? Log file? Oh, center. There we go. Ah, Chastity. Uh, she hasn't been working here for very long. She's only made 120 bucks so far. Jennifer. Jennifer, 552 customers. Hmm. Uh, Carrie. 750 donkey show. Really? That's just nasty. That is just nasty game. What are you doing? Private uh sinner. Dirty dog. There we go. Uh Big John Farm. This can't be good. Well, I guess it depends on your definition of good. <laughs> uh John's finally left the acting side and has begun to produce films. As expected, he's sticking to the farm stuff. He said to contact him at some number. That guy needs help. Flynn's personal info. Get out. Flynn's the guy who owns the place. He wanted, the one who was uh, manning the register. So anyways, that's everything on the computer. Let's see if this guy's left yet. Or if he's still hanging around. 
Okay, so it looks like they've all... Yeah, they all left. Uh, there's usually a guy right here. Like I said, if you don't break into this money machine and take the money, he'll stay there forever in that first room. Uh, we're going to save again before we break into here. Because, like I said, this quest likes to glitch out. Let's see. What's the lockpicking skill required? Do I need blood buff? I do need blood buff. Okay. I'm running out of blood, actually. It's going to make it hard to fight the hunter. But, oh well. Uh, hello there. Let's see if we can get rid of her. What are you looking for, honey? Uh, me and you in a private room for ten minutes. Okay, two hundred bucks for ten minutes. Anything you want, you just gotta make it quick, alright? Uh... Hmm. I don't have the dialogue options to get rid of her in another way. I don't really want to pay two hundred bucks, but I don't have a choice. Fine, here's the money. Just meet me in the Pleasure Palace, the room at the back of the hall. Your time just started. Why don't you mercenary? Uh, let's see. All right, all right. Go back and get ready. I'll be there in a second. So we've gotten rid of her. Chastity is still in the peep show booth, I believe. We're going to get our gun ready. Uh, I think we'll use the shoddy. Got to wait for her to get all the way in there. Close the door. There we go. And we don't have much blood so we'll probably do blood shield and celerity and that's probably all we're gonna get away with I'm gonna save one more time just in case nothing's gone wrong yet but that doesn't mean it won't <laughs> can't do celerity don't have enough blood goodbye chastity let's see what did I set uh no, that's not it. There we go. Uh, I had to turn blood shield off, because if I walk around with blood shield on, I'll break the masquerade. Look at her face. She is not happy. <laughs> Killing people with a samurai sword in her lingerie. Oh, body just disappeared. So here's the inside of the peep show. And that is how you complete this quest. The correct way, in quotes, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, without actually alerting anyone else that you're murdering her. If you do anything else, they're going to find out, so. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Sorry, Flynn, you're going to have to have a new, find a new uh, girl. Ba -da -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Uh, and there's Vesuvius. Let's go talk to Vivi. She should be very happy. I don't think we could have completed that quest any better. Hopefully the gun wasn't too loud. Maybe that counts as not being quiet. I don't know how else I'd do it. I could try and beat her to death. I'm not very good at it. My uh, melee skill is kind of terrible. Um, Look who's back. Vivi. My friends call me Vivi. Velvet will do. Okay, about that hunter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? I asked you to be quiet. Damn it. Done is attract attention to yourself. And now you're in my club. You think there's any chance someone might make a connection? I don't know if you've helped or made things worse. Damn it. We pissed her off. It's got to be the gun. The gun was too loud. Let's try this again. We'll try fisting her to death. Pun intended. <laughs> See if it works. It probably will fail, but whatever. Uh, I definitely need more blood, because I'm going to need blood shield and probably blood buff, and probably celerity for that matter. Uh, let's see, I think I set it to 9. That's not much more, actually. Maybe we'll, we'll go and use 2. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I'm set to melee. Where is Okay, there's blood shield. Celerity, blood buff. Oh god, we get like a small child. Well, not too bad. You're going down, lady! You might have a sword, but I'm covered in blood. I got this. Ah, damn, she's hard. There we go. Okay, so same thing. She's dead again. Let's see if Vivi's happy this time. That's about as silent as I can make it, honestly. So, I don't know what the hell else she'd want. None of the patrons saw. The other peep show girl didn't see. Flynn didn't see. Uh, I was punching her, so there's no loud noises. 
Hopefully Vivi's happy. Maybe she doesn't want me to use any disciplines. She said something about that, but good luck. There's no way I'm gonna beat her without disciplines. Without blood shield, she hits like a truck. So... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if she's happy. If Vivi is happy, I'm happy. I'm surprised there's music in here. I thought I got rid of all the music. I didn't notice it before, but yeah. Look who's back. My friend. Mm. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Very good. So Vivi is happy. Uh, note to anyone playing the game, don't use guns. Because apparently guns are too loud. Uh, let's see, there will be others. You'll have to do the same. No, she'll get someone else to kill him. <laughs> she'll never have to do her own dirty work. Not looking like that. Uh, it's unfortunate it had to be this way. Not that unfortunate. Just a human and a hunter. I'd kill all of them if I could. That's a bit extreme. Utoria doors, I bet you think you're deep, huh? <laughs> We're gonna be nice to her. Uh, we'll go with the first one. Yes. <clears throat> Hopefully, though, I'll have some lovely young kindred by my side to protect me. Like I said, she's gonna use someone else. Uh, you are, and you will. Mm -hmm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I won't. I had a question. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, see, so you're a stripper, huh? That's not really nice. Is Velvet your real name? Probably not. It is now. Uh, how did you become a kindred? I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. That's very vague. Uh, I had another question. Mm-hmm. So you're a stripper, huh? Let's go with it. Why not? I'm a dancer. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course you are. Right, I'm going now. So, sadly, for, for now, that's all we can do with Vivi. Uh, we did what she wanted, and she's happy for the moment. Poor, poor David Hatter. Ooh, I take it back. Apparently she's gonna give us the next quest already. Who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies. And creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? No. Uh, he's writing a movie about the Bush administration. <laughs> the Share Bears! Oh, yes. Uh, Care Bears is what that is. Uh, movie about the game industry. He stole my idea. <laughs> uh, we'll go, with the, we'll go with the second one. Why not? We'll be snarky. No. It's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to kind is? Beheading would be my guess. $150 fine. No Xmas bonus. <laughs> uh, death. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed. And his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Very fond of him, huh? So you want me to kill the Hatter? No! <laughs> I don't think Hatter wants to collaborate with his kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who killed but do not touch David. In case you're wondering, we could kill David. If we wanted to. Uh, wait. You want me to kill again? No. Uh-uh. Uh. uh <laughs> sounds pretty serious. I'll straighten things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. I'm very good at persuasion. Of the beating kind. <laughs> uh, leave it to me. After this is over, 
I promise. You'll have my complete attention. I look forward to it. Uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll be back. So, yeah, she wants us to go on another quest for her. Uh, we'll do that next time. For now, that'll be it. Uh, we haven't even gone to see Isaac yet, have we? Oh, yeah, we still need to find Ginger Swan, too. That's right. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next time.